Hello, Wolfpack, and that's right, we are back in Stormland, and I can confirm now that Escalation 2 is the highest that it goes. There is no Escalation 3. I don't know if that's going to be a temporary thing, but as for story in the Tempest, that might be as far as we go. But there is a ton of collectible items that we need to find to branch out this story even further. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm actually going to do one video a week until we complete all the hidden objects here and fill out this story as best we can. So let's get exploring. Ooh, a new critter. Stand still. That species is truly a nuisance. Oh, poor little guys. That was it, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, we have got some goods in here. Check this first. One more thing, Dr. Ames. Alicia mentioned hearing whispers when she was in the Stormland. Hmm. Astronauts sometimes have hallucinations triggered by stress or isolation. Has she shown any symptoms of paranoia? No. She's a lot more comfortable with the Stormland than we are. It could be external factors. Could you be more specific? There's a lot we don't understand about this planet. Something may be trying to manipulate her. Just to be safe, you might want to keep her at base camp. Hmm, so the plant is trying to manipulate Nyx? When the humans disappeared, the Tempest must have already been on their way. What if the Spire flipped the humans into an alternate reality to give them shelter from an oncoming storm, just like the colonists at Roanoke? I mean, that's kind of the theory that we have floating around right now, is that the Tempest basically either flipped the humans into an alternate reality, which is starting to merge with ours, which is why we see the anomalies, or they're basically in the Spire. I believe that the humans are still out there. Maybe just not in our current reality. Someday, we might find a way to bring them back. We'll just have to keep looking for clues to get there. Hmm. So Cypher seems pretty convinced that the humans are in an alternate reality. Which makes sense. As much sense as that possibly could make. Now we just need to figure out how to get them back. And here we have an Incas line. It's true then. The Spire can create matter. Can it be controlled? I believe so. The Spire appears to be creating matter based on the thoughts of the humans. If we could inject thoughts into the Spire, I believe we could control the Spire's abilities. What will it take? The android is deeply merged with the Aeon Bud, and I believe it can be used as an interface terminal. I'm authorizing the Winter Protocol. Do whatever it takes to bring it under our control. Understood. Ink is out. So that's why they captured Nyx, instead of killing her like the rest of the robots. She was basically an envoy to the Spire. It allowed them to connect to it through the robots. That's creepy. I wonder what they actually did with it. Ooh, a voice log. Research log. June Flores, day hey, 185. June. Our spire probes finally came back. We are still building models and simulating the data, but there's already enough remarkable insight to open up it. There's a definite energy transfer and molecular shift happening. The behavior doesn't seem random. There's a clear sequencing between the spire and all other strata. It almost looks like the Spire is acting as a regulator, breathing in atmospheric energy from all strata, transforming it, and sending it back out. This sequencing seems to shift the macro patterns of the strata on a regular basis. Yeah, there's a plane there. Let's go check that out. So the Spire basically has the ability to change realities. Look at these atmospheric readings. We could almost go outside and take a walk in Pressure and oxygen are comparable to about eight kilometers above sea level on Earth. So that's great, right? This is months ahead of our terraforming projections. Terraforming machines aren't supposed to get ahead of projections, much less double. We don't have control of this atmosphere. Oh, you can actually like, see inside the plane too. That is wacky. Look at this thing. Just stuck here. 
So the planet adapted to the humans really, really quickly, is what I gathered from that. Is that you, June? Research log, June Flores, Sup. day 192. I ran my crazy ideas by our team of neuroscientists. I braced myself for some ridicule, but it was quite the opposite. They were enthralled and agreed. These energy signatures resemble the way the brain creates and reinforces distinct knowledge pathways. We need way more data to even hint at a formal hypothesis. But if I had to make one right now, I would say that the Stormland itself is a magnificent intelligent structure. Structure or creature? This thing might be alive. I mean, it's definitely alive in some way. Uh, an anchor. You know, I've seen the androids do a lot of things, spectacular things on this mission. But do you know what I haven't seen them do? Invent imaginary differences with other groups of people, then go to war over them? Miss home. Sit around and reminisce about Earth like we do. I think androids look at Earth a bit differently than us. They probably think we're being dragged down by yearning for what we're familiar with. I wonder if humans fear androids because of their lack of fear. In some ways, it seems like the universe is more of a home for them than it will ever be for us. Hmm. Pretty sure I destroyed that warship. Oh, I'll get you again. Oh god, sniper rival. Ah, a butterfly. Ah, found one. The best friend. What is that? Huh. Oh. oh, I'd already scanned those. That's that was weird. Oh no. Hello, After dead friend. Dead to the Ramsey, please stop sniping I told myself me. That was pragmatism. I was able to believe it too. For a while. Then I realized I was spending a little too much time getting the camp stood back up. Hmm. I don't blame you, Riggs. You had to do what you had to do. We have a voice log in here. Is that you, June? I've missed you so much. Research log, June Flores, day yeah. 73. Initial spire samples just came back and the results leave us with even more questions. Hmm. The surface material seems native to Avalon and matches nearby geological material. But when we dug deeper, we found dense crystalline structures so exotic, we don't even know how to classify them. These elements could not have originated on Avalon. I wonder if the spire has created a multitude of worlds around it, and its structure is basically just a combination of all the different races that have amalgamated with it. Research log, Roger Oh, Flores, hey, Roger. Long time no see. I spoke with June, and she's reporting a dramatic increase in rich alloy ever since we figured out how to stabilize it for fabrication. It's almost as if the Stormland is growing optimum resources just for our use. I've never witnessed an environment shifting to meet the needs of its inhabitants like this. Is this a display of broad networked intelligence? You know what, Roger? It might just be. So yeah, I'm still kind of of the theory that the Spire created this kind of environment for us and then protected us. And, you know, when eventually we die out, we become a part of the Spire. And that's why it has so many different things in it. And we have a giant train just sitting here. Hello, big train. Whoa. Oh, God. It's a subway car. Did you ever get the feeling that there was magic there? Meeting me would have that effect. Though, I suppose it could also have something to do with attending a mission planning summit that would change the course of humanity. Of course, finding a level one blast and being selected to be the first to explore an alien planet of the magic. I'm talking about seeing itself and seeing the hidden world. If you have the ability to sense hidden magic, then perhaps you can tell me how these mountains are floating in the sky. 
Okay, sorry, I was being attacked and I have no ammo, so that got a little, little loud. I can land on this ship? Oh, that's really weird. Didn't know that was possible. Sail forth! Like, like him, you know, you gotta, you're not gonna move for him, are you? That's fine, that's cool, thank you. Voice line, Incas. Log. The direct particles we detected at the anomaly point to a single conclusion. The farmhouse is extra-dimensional. Matter created from nothing through a massive outpouring of energy. The spire's energy. The company was right. I was not sent out here for nothing. Inca's out. Hmm. The farmhouse she's referring to is the one that was just a childhood home of one of the generals, randomly. And they're kind of agreeing with that, you know, the spire can basically create shit. Create realities, create anything. What are you? Nice find. Blush snake. Oh, just a nice find? That's all you're gonna give me? Is the human story over? Jeez. That's an interesting artifact. So that's it. That might be it for the human artifact story. Personal log, Roger Flores, day 394. Nix returned to the lab today with quite the story. Apparently they found a plant that started growing on their chassis and integrating into their systems. I wanted to take some samples of the plant, but Nix was hesitant. And now I understand why Eco is running tests on Nix. I need to speak with Eco and see if they will approve a study of these cultures. Hmm. I'm not learning too much more from all this stuff. Is the end of the human artifact story that the Spire basically created an alternate reality and that's where the humans went? I wonder if, like, you collect more and more, eventually he'll say something? Maybe it's like, every five now instead of every single one? Better not be, because I, I want more. I want a lot more information. I only have 21 of 65 human artifacts, so there's a lot more. Maybe there's only a certain amount of story that you can get. What else do we have? Flora, just missing one. Critters missing one. Devices? Got all the devices. Butterflies, we got four of 16. Anomalies, we're missing 15 of those. Two enemies. We're getting there on the journal, so we're, we're, we're almost halfway done with most of this stuff. Common flora. Got all the common flora. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're nearing the end of what this game has to offer in terms of story. I hope that's not the case, because there's still a ton of stuff to find. And, uh, I'll, you know, I'm going to keep diving back in here, but if there's nothing else, then... I might be nearing the end of Stormland here, folks. June Roger. Research log, June hey, 4th, June. day 59. Geostructures of the Underlands are proving primordial and lifeless. Fairly unremarkable compared to the Stormland. With one exception, the Spire. There's a massive amount of crust displacement at the base, leading us to believe the Spire is an extraplanetary object that landed on Avalon. But there's no crater. Did it have a controlled descent? Ooh, that's some new information. So the Spire might be a spaceship. Or a creature that came here on purpose and landed. That's kind of cool, actually. Whoa, pirate ship. Looks like a carnival ride. The Soaring Serpent. That's pretty cool. Human world becoming integrated. Aww, little mouse. I wonder whose that was. Ah, uh, no. Tell me more, Cypher. I want to know more about the humans. We're not done yet, right? No, another dead friend. I can't stop wondering Yale. how many of our friends died because I was too afraid to stop repairing an empty base camp. 
Riggs, bruh, you have survivor's guilt. It's an actual thing. You couldn't have done anything. If you'd gone out here, you would have died. I'm a botanist. That's why I can survive and kick butt, because, you know, they train all botanists in combat, so... Everyone, everyone knows that. What is this? Dad, I need you to give me access to some articles from my school paper. Restricted articles? Just what are you doing a paper on? I'm trying to learn about the AI rights movement. Oh, jeez, honey. That's... that's a pretty serious topic. Some things... Some things are best explained when you are a little older. If I'm old enough to be friends with Nyx, then I'm old enough to learn more about their history. Ooh, AI right, so it's really is kind of like a whatever that Will Smith movie was. It's not fascinating. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, so many dead robot friends. This guy was just gardening. It's difficult to admit this. Salem. But I think I finally can. I'm not the hero I thought I was. Being alone the past couple of years has shown me that I don't have what it takes to put my life on the line. Not like you. Riggs, we're all helping in our own special way. Like you're providing me all these sweet, sweet guns and constantly, constantly reminding me to use my alloy. Those are needed things. Not all of us can be a botanist warrior like me. All right, so I'm here in Terminus. Woohoo! And it is the exact same scenario. It's the warship. They did the exact same dialogue of, hey, maybe we could do a Hail Mary. So nothing has changed in Terminus. So it looks like we've reached the... One reactor per floor feeding the particle accelerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every one of them must be deactivated. So it looks like we've reached the end of where the, the escalation story is going to go. And pretty much all that's left is just the random items that we're going to find. Although I do think there's a new Incas thing at the top, but we'll find out. There we go. Let's see what Incas has to say. Log. I am revolted by the prospect of perfect metal sullied by imperfect organics. But I must admit this fusion fascinates me. The android's power system has shown a 157% boost in efficiency. And its neural matrix is showing signs of increased cognitive capacity. I... I am conflicted. Incas out. Oh, Incas. Alright, well, Peck, that is all the story stuff I could find this week. I'm gonna do it again next week, see if we can find some more information, but it seems like the human stories kind of come to an end and we're just accepting the fact that this spire created an alternate reality and that's where the humans are. Maybe when we find more stuff, they'll reveal a little more and maybe there's a way to get them back. If there is, I will find out for you. Till next time, Wolfpack.